can't bring green people onto a project like this. They have to be very knowledgeable of what they're doing. There's nothing typical about T-line work. You've got so many moving parts, you got to have people on watch all the time. You're hitting rock, you're hitting clay, you got water. All those things that go in on a natural project, but now you got to add in the element of power lines overhead. Uh, Larry Howell and an operations manager for Maxon Drilling on the concrete division, working towards doing turnkey projects, mainly for T-line power energy sources. Some of these go 20 feet deep. We've got a couple that are 40 foot deep, uh, nine foot diameter. You're running four to five guys over and above a typical crew to get these things stationed. They know exactly what to do when they're touching everything and how to set everything down. Uh, when you're going into a hole that big, you know, there's a visual effect too when you're looking into a hole going into the earth that's nine foot uh, in diameter, running 20 foot deep, much less 40 foot deep. It can it can definitely set you aside for a minute. You're adding the element of not just a normal cage, you're adding a 18,000 pound, 13 to 18,000 pound rebar cage, number 14 bars, uh, number 11 bars typical, uh, and then you're also setting a, a anchor bolt element that has anywhere from 12 to 36 to 48 anchor bolts on it that are precise uh, setting within a 32nd of each other all the way around in a diameter. It's a lot of fun to work with somebody that puts quality out, quality people, you get a quality job going, and you always have the right answer.